Welcome to Concorso Italiano. My name is Mike Call. I'm here at Concorso Italiano with the 1983 Lamborghini Countach. It's my favorite kind of show because it's all Italian cars, uh, which I love everything from Alphas to Zagato. It's more relaxed than, say, Pebble Beach, but it's not lemons either. If you're a lover of Italian cars, there's no better place to be. Basically set a deadline on myself as this project had strung on for so long. Uh, the goal was to make it here this year. Uh, and we did it with about four days to spare. Uh, I didn't even jinx it by making hotel accommodations. <laughs> it's, a, it's a car that connects with a lot of people over, from young kids even to those Gen Xers that grew up with a, as a, a bedroom poster. This is the, the original color combination that it came with, but it, I incidentally did have a, a poster on the wall of a red on white Kunta. This car came to me via a friend. He bought the cheapest car and the worst car on the market. Kind of puppy dogged me out of my nice one <laughs> to trade for this car. Since then, it's been about a six year saga. The car first was stripped down to its bare frame and rebuilt from there. Every last nut, bolt, washer, bearing, anything you can name has been either massaged or replaced or remade. It doesn't do anything that spectacularly by modern car standards. Uh, not to 60s in maybe five-ish seconds. Uh, going on to the boat anchor of a wing that it has. Reduces the top speed by about 10 miles an hour, so it probably tops out about 160. Most people that I encounter here are, oh, I had that same red on white car on my wall, just as I did. The first times you take it out, it's kind of tentative. You're mostly just shaking it down and figuring out what's going to go wrong. As they say, like, if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong out there. About 300 clicks in, and you know, probably a dozen times back to the shop to make little minor adjustments. I burned about a half a tank of gas at that point, and it was kind of like, yeah, it's a real car again, and it's doing everything it's supposed to. I worked at a Ferrari dealership for about 18 years and uh, kind of branched off uh, restoring cars. For me, started just reconditioning used cars for the dealership to fixing my own cars to ultimately going from Mount Everest, taking a Countach to the core and back. Thanks, and I appreciate you coming by to see my Lamborghini Countach. My name is Jerry Brubaker from Reno, Nevada. We're here today at Concorso Italiano in Black Horse Golf Course on Monterey, California. They do have to warm up, that's one of the problems. <laughs> I've had it since 1989. Bought it in Suffolk, Virginia. Been restored for about the last 20 years. Motor in it now is the uh, Windsor modified by Jack Roush. The color for this car is polo green. It's a Cadillac color. I've been always kind of partial to greens. And when I saw the color, I knew that was what I wanted the car to be. Zero to 60, probably 6.5, may get down to mid fives, even to four, but uh, absolutely dynamite car to drive. It's just a fun, fun car. The car is an Italian sports car that hot rodders like. Almost all of them are modified to some extent some of them heavily modified. And it's the people around the cars. It's, it's the guys in the club. And uh, the Pantera Club that I belong to, and I belong to a number of car clubs, but this club seems to me to be real. Real people, and they enjoy having a lot of fun with the cars. We, we drive these cars all over. I've got uh, about 42,000 miles I've put on this car.
it's the people that I don't get to see during the year. I'm a resident of Reno, Nevada, but I have a home in Ohio, and my cars are in Ohio for the most part. And you know, this car stays in Reno, but we've always got a project going, and so I'm, I spend about as much time in Ohio as I do in Nevada, and so I don't get to see a lot of the people from, most of the people here at the show of California, just because of the proximity. Well, it's, it's very unique because everything Italian is here. They have boats, they have cars, they have fashions, uh, great wine. It's just a good Italian event and a uh, fun place to be.